cut the sea so she could do it. All night long, Tilly was chuffing along the line, looking for a place to run safe. The moon was going down. Tilly knew she would need a rest because the railway she escaped was far away from London. Tilly didn't want to get caught from the Gordons. So she hid in a museum. It was starting to become lighter the sky as the moon was setting. Many people were starting for work and Tilly hoped none of them would be the Gordons. When 6 a.m. came, Tilly decided to make her move, but she saw another engine coming. He seemed tired from a run. Hello, said Tilly. Who are you? What's that? Oh, hello. I'm Casey Jr. Who are you? I'm Tilly. I'm heading to Tasman Sodor. Oh, so am I. But I need a drink from the break out back in America. As he had a drink, Tilly had some thoughts. Casey Jr. is a lonely engine and so am I. I think I'll ask him on a date. She said to him when he came up to her, uh, Would you like to have a date with me? Oh, sure thing. I was wanting to befriend you. Great, because I got some tale to tell. They went in the museum. When they were in the sidings, they began to talk. Tilly told him about her escape from the gardens. And then Casey Jr. told her about where they were to head to get to Tasman Sodor. I've escaped too from the New York Museum and was following this line to where many engines went to. I met an engine and he told me he went through a wood which is called the Forest of Secrets. One set of buffers is the secret. That's where we have to go. The Forest of Secrets? That's an interesting name. Only we have to go separate. We'll see each other again someday soon. Well, let me give you this luck to say I love you. Thanks. We'll have to call ourselves secret lovers. I best leave first when I'm out of sight. You leave the museum too. Right. Goodbye. You too. Casey Jr. left the museum as Tilly watched her friend leave York till he was out of sight. Chapter 4 The Forest of Secrets 
Tilly began to make her move. But when she was out of the shed, she saw a car and a familiar shot at the sounding. Tilly! There was another threat Tilly had to get rid of. The gardens trying to follow her to where a friend headed to. I must lead them to somewhere else in the UK, she told herself. She went to take another track to somewhere which didn't lead her to the farthest of secrets. There she is, said Mrs. Gordon. The car started chasing the little blue engine. Teddy was chuffing very fast, following the line to some place she never seen before. The run took three minutes to get to where she wanted to get rid of the Gordons. She arrived at an abandoned dock. It was never used for a very long time. And there were two tracks that were heading to other places. The right track led her to the right, and then the left went to the left. An idea came out of a funnel. I might play a trick on the Gordons by pushing the car into that water over there. The engine of the car was sounding to it earth. Time was running out. Quickly, she heard. The car burst in. That engine is around her somewhere, said Mr. Gordon. Can't seem to see her, said Mrs. Gordon. We might as well wait for her. So they waited. Little didn't they know that they were about to get caught in a trap. Tilly saw her enemies waiting. With a shout, she dashed out of the bush, pushed the car. The garden, shocked from surprise, got pushed straight into the water. did that? cried Mr. Gordon. But Tilly was forgotten. He wondered if his wife was all right. Molly, are you all right? No reply. When he looked at her, he was in shock to see she had a heart attack. Right to the world. Tilly was alone. She found the route to where Casey Jr. went. There was a route she was to go through. This is where Toby's plan me to go to, she told herself. In she went. The line was long and was not seen from anyone. 
only engines with better eyes can see it. And the treetops were thick. Nobody could see her. But she wondered if America would ever know where she went. After an hour, she saw the buffers. And with a flash, she went through them. When the flash was gone, she found herself in sloping main. She slowed down to stop when she felt a slip on the tracks. She came splashing in the dock water. There she was, waiting for help to get her mended. Peep! Peep! She whistled weakly. Casey Jr. was silent. That's when your adventure started, he said. They sure did, said Tilly. But what happened to Mr. Gordon after he lost his life? Well, he lived on in another place but died of a heavy loss. We're glad they didn't invade Tasman Sodor. Casey Jr. had to agree with his girlfriend.